Hello comrades, so firstly I would like to remind you that today 22 of April we celebrate 154 anniversary of the birth Vladimir Lenin, the leader of the Bolshevik party and the October revolution. But today's video there will be not so many about politics, today's video will be about linguistics. Linguistic because of the decision of the Ukraine and many European countries, also Poland, that they forbidden letter Z. Letter Z which is very important for the Polish language and I will explain it in this video. Firstly maybe I would like to show you something about the French language because we see here big difference between the Polish language and the French language and another Western European languages. So here it is um, uh, my old dictionary French English dictionary. Uh, as you see it is more than 900 pages but in French language we have only one page one page and uh, and half uh, of the of the words which are uh, which are starting from letter z so it is here and here and that's all and that's all the next pages it is as you see it is something different so in French language uh, letter Z we are not using very often. In Polish language letter Z we are using in 11, 11 letters and it is how the Polish language is complicated. So of course we have the letter Z but we have different letters which are also using the letter Z. So we have letter Z, we have letter Z, we have letter, uh, so it is the three letters uh, which uh, are uh, only one, one letter, so Z, Z, Z. But we have another sounds which are, uh, which is uh, two, two letters or three letters and also we have, we can find there the letter Z. So we have the uh, sound CH, CH, we have the sound SH. We have the sound Z, we have the sound G, we have the sound Z, we have the sound G, we have the sound G, and we have the sound G. I know that for somebody who are first time sound, uh, speak about Polish, it could be it could be difficult. So I make you some presentation. It's easy for me. <coughs> to prepare the presentation because as you know I am a father of of of, of my son who is now uh, two years and two months and uh, because we I learn him the Polish languages I have a lot of a lot of materials to learning Polish language so um, uh, so I firstly I will show, uh, show you some some vegetables and fruits and fruits uh, vegetables in lang polon in, in polish language it is warzywa warzywa uh, with this uh, when we bond the letter z it will be not warzywa it will be warzywa warzywa or warzywa warzywa because we can't use the letter z so um, are we uh, uh, some of these words I'm not I know I don't know how it's pronounced in English so I, I have I have pictures so you can find yourself. This is Arbus Arbus uh, Arbus uh, so uh, after the reform of uh, our president ah and you have to understand that in Polish in Polish uh, politics the three most important person in poli Polish politics all these people using letter Z. We have the Polish president or Polish president. President uh, it's Andrzej, Andrzej Duda. So we can't say now Andrzej, we have to say Andrzej, Andrzej like in Russian language Andrzej. <laughs> So Duda, he signed the law that uh, forbidden letter Z, and now his 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 first name is like in Russian language. It's not uh, it's not Andrzej, it's Andrei. 
is Andrzej. We have Mateusz, Mateusz Morawiecki, Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki. And of course we have Kaczyński, Kaczyński. So now it will be Kaczyński, Kaczyński. Okay, uh, Gruszka, Gruszka. So uh, Gruszka, it is um, no maybe um, for med make a little. Um, I will change. So first, firstly, we have letter Z. For letter Z, we are using this word arbus. It's forbidden. Uh, G, G. I I couldn't find G. I couldn't find G. There are. It's not many. It's not so popular in Polish language. Uh, it's only few words with letter G. Uh, there is some word Zrebak. Uh, um, Zrebak. It is the uh, small small horse. So it is the horse. But uh, uh, the the son of the horse is Zrebak. What else? After we have Z. Z. It is very popular. Z um, with one letter Z. With one letter Z. Sometimes we are using this letter Z with like with sign like this. Sometimes we we use uh, um, dot. Uh, so for Z, for example, we have this. As you see, Bakwajan, Bakwajan. It's forbidden now. What else? After we have Chi. After we have Chi. Uh, for example, here we have two times using this letter Z. We have Pożeczki. So I, I don't know if you see. So we, there is RZ, CZ, pożecz, pożeczki. I tutaj te pożeczki is forbidden now. Pomarańcza, pomarańcza is also trzy. Now it's pomarańca, pomarańca. What else? Uh, for using trzy we have this. Czereśnie, czereśnie, it's not longer uh, czereśnie, it's czereśnie. Ok, szy. Uh, szy is also very, very popular. We have here groszek, groszek. Z, uh, we have... Uh, I will show you after another um, another things, uh, but okay. Warzywa, mm. uh, so 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 RZ RZ it's brzoskwinia, but brzoskwinia is also żotkiewka, brzoskwinia, porzeczki. Okay, now it's letter G G. G is uh, like, le, 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 like I um, presented before. It's like G, not very popular in Polish language, but there are some words with G. For example, there is a word dźwig. Dźwig. This is dźwig. It's, uh, um, and my, my brother, he work in dźwig, but not in the dźwig like this, but in dźwig uh, a little plus, uh, how to say, um, uh, bigger than this. Uh, so here is some uh, series, uh, hum, some uh, thing for my baby. I will read. Jeszcze głaz. Oh, jeszcze głaz. Jeszcze. We can't uh, in the word jeszcze. It will be impossible now. It will be jeszcze. Jeszcze gła. Nie głaz, tylko gła. Tylko blokuje drogę. Nie ma problemu, zaraz pomogę. Szybko rozbiję go swoim młotem. Wiedziałam, że się młot przyda potem. Dźwig pokruszone zbiera kawałki. Uśmiech na masce, widać koparki. Więc to jest ten dźwig. And where I started to learn some poet, poem for the babies, we have very important, one of the most famous poet for the babies. His name is uh, Jan Brzechwa. Jan Brzechwa, he is a Polish Jew. Polish Jew is in Polish language, it is Żyd. Żyd. So now it will be it. It. Because we can't use the letter word, uh, Z. 
And this, I don't know why he is a Polish Żyd and he very like using the word Ż in his in his poems. So it is Żaba. Żaba it is frog. It is Żuraw i Czapla. And it is Żuk. It is Żuk and uh, I can read for you very quickly some uh, some uh, it is it is very very short so i will read all because the last phrase phrase it will be impossible with this reform do biedronki przyszedł żuk w okieneczko puk 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 panieneczka widzi żuka czego pan tu u mnie szuka skoczył żuk jak polny konik z galanterią zdjął melonik i powiada wstań biedronko wyjdź biedronko przyjdź na słonko wezmę ciebie aż na łączkę i poproszę o twą Rączkę. Oburzyła się Biedronka. Niech pan tutaj się nie błąka, niech pan zmiata i nie lata i zostawi lepiej mnie, bo ja jestem piegowata, a pan nie. Powiedziała co wiedziała i czym prędzej odleciała, poleciała. Wieczorem ślub już brała z muchomorem, bo od środka aż po brzegi miał wspaniałe wielkie brzegi. And now listen, because it is very, very complicated after this reform. Stąd nauka jest dla żuka. Żuk na żonę żuka szuka. Żuk na żonę, żuka, szuka. Żuk na żonę, żuka, szuka. So after this reform it will be uk na onę, uka, uka. Uk na, uk, uk na onę, uka, uka. So, <laughs> so very primitive language. What else? Uh, ż, dźwig, dz. Dz is... Uh, it's uh, also uh, it's not very um, very often used in in Polish language, but I found some uh, words uh, with z. I found one word with z to show you. Uh, it's this. It's dzbanek, dzbanek. It is z. Of course, uh, there is also dzwonek, dzbanek, dzwonek. But it's not very popular. It's difficult to to find some words with z. Okay, now we have the another letter. It is a j, j. It's a, like gem, for example. Uh, and we have a very famous, very famous uh, uh, word with j. It is this. It's, it's dżdżownica, dżdżownica, it's two, it's two times dż, 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 dż dżownica, dżownica, and when I see these, uh, these, uh, these words which are here, uh, all these words uh, almost are uh, using z, uh, some of this letter, so waszka, forbidden, Czcina, forbidden, żuraw, forbidden, pliszka żółta, forbidden, żmijowiec, forbidden, czajka, forbidden, zwinka, zaskroniec, kaczeniec, żaba, e, what else, e, koniczyna, peż, e, winniczek, kleszcz, kleszcz, no this is kleszcz, it's very, uh, it's after, after reform it will be, it will be klest, klest. Babka zwyczajna, wyka, przepiórka, zielony, pszczoła, podróżnik, dzika i tak dalej, i tak dalej. So, as you see, a lot of words in, in, in this, um, in biology, we are, we have, um, with this letter Z. It's very, very, uh, it's very, in this biologic, uh, biologic language, very important. So, for example, here you have, you have four birds. Four birds, three birds are uh, now with letter Z. Szpak, mazurek, pliszka. Uh, here is where the uh, is uh, gniazdo, gniazdo, drzewo, maszt. 
So you see, it's a big difference between Polish language and uh, and uh, and uh, Western European language. That that in I, when uh, when they created Polish language, they because uh, Poland was Christianized uh, by the um, by the Catholic by the um, the Catholicism came to Poland from the Czech. Uh, from Czech, uh, but uh, e Poland was in the middle of um, this uh, civilization where another Slavic countries they take language, they they use the the Cyrillic alphabet in base in the Greek alphabet. Poland created a al Polish alphabet in base of the um, Latin al alphabet, but Latin alphabet. Uh, are not good to uh, build to, to Polish language because as you see we have 11, 11 sounds with letter Z. So it is why we have Z. I, 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 one more time I remind you Z, 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 Z. Ah, I, I didn't finish. I didn't finish because there are another um, another words uh, which I not them. We have Jovnica. Uh, we have G G because uh, the um, uh, G with our D Z E D Z E um, because uh, this we have G G. It's like Jvik. But very often this uh, this sound G is be, uh, before before voyel voyel and before voyel we are using uh, letter E also so J change we have this E we have Jen Jen it's day it's so so the most important word, uh, the most important word in Polish language is Dzień dobry, Dzień dobry, bon, uh, how, uh, good morning, good morning. So now you can't say Dzień dobry, you need to say En, en dobry, En dobry. Dziesięć, um, dziesięć is ten. So if you want to count uh, is uh, raz, jeden, raz, it's per one. Dwa, trzy. So raz is uh, Z, trzy is Z, cztery is Z, sześć is Z, dziewięć, dziewięć is Z, dziesięć is Z, i tak dalej. Um, ok, um, and the last word um, which I want to present it is the word which I already shown you it's this word is ziemniak is z e is z e so and the pronunciation is very similar to z like żrebak but because żrebak uh, is is z r so before uh, letter e we need to use letter E, so it's Z, Ziemniak. So 11, 11 letters, uh, uh, I, I think that in Polish language we have 30, 30, 35, 35 uh, sounds. So, so 11 from 35, uh, we need to use, use the letter Z and now because of the president Elenski and and pre Polish president Polish president president and Andrei Andrei Duda and Polish prime minister Mateusz Morawiecki and the uh, and the chairman of the of the Poland uh, Jarosław Kaczyński we can't use the letter Z.